What's up guys, welcome back to another video. This is not what I expected to do. Uh, I have a side skirt splitter install that I wanted to do. And I also have my, my 271 intercooler that came in that I also wanted to do. So unfortunately, that's not what we're gonna be doing this video. We're gonna be doing something else that I have time for, and that is to fix my shifter. So when I got my Torque Solution short shifter, you have to disassemble the whole entire assembly when you're putting um, the actual shifter in it. You can't see it on camera right now, but whenever I shift, you see how it, like it gets stuck. Now I looked into it and here's a picture of it right here. These little pieces that pretty much clamp onto the actual shifter are not clamping right. I pretty much messed this up. So I need to take all this out so I can replace the entire shifter assembly because that little piece right here can't buy it by itself. You have to buy the whole assembly. So I ended up buying a whole nother assembly and I'm just going to be installing a type R shifter in the meantime. That way I don't have this locking mechanism piece right here is what I'm talking about. You see how it's all beat up and chucked. So watch when I go to first, third gear, fourth, pretty chill, right? But third and fourth, but watch when I go to first. You see how that moved up? Now notice how it's stuck in there. That piece right here is what's causing me. I'm technically in third. Now I'm in fourth, technically. And I noticed that when I was in traffic and it just scared the heck out of me. So watch how it's gonna go back down when I put in neutral. You see that? Now it's stuck again. And that's because I took all this out and to take all this out, there's like these little teeth in here that you have to bend out to pop it, to hammer it out and then you pop it back in. Here's the thing, I love the shortness of it, but I cannot risk messing this up. Like I know there's a right way to do it, but it's just too much work. I feel like with just an adapter at the end, you would have been fine. So learn from me. Now I got to replace all this again. So I already took the liberty of taking everything out. I could just reach in there and take it out, but taking all this out actually isn't that bad of a deal for me because I've done it before. This only took like five minutes to get to this point. Now I already took the bolts out of there. Now I'm just gonna take the one in the back and then this whole thing comes off. Actually, it's ready to go. So yeah. Okay, so I ended up getting it out. Type R OEM, torque solution. So like, when you put them both in third, right on top of each other, you can already see which one shorter so check this out let me see if i can i don't know if you guys can tell this way but the difference left one's in third right one's in third this, this is this is a huge difference it sits lower come on neutral look at the thread and this one's slightly higher than that one so that's why this one's a, technically a short shifter so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out the rocker and the center spring i'm going to put them on right here and then this is going to go back in there in the meantime but look even so this thing right here is just messing me up so bad Done for you guys this literally just popped off like all I had to do was pull it off because these clips teeth in here are all jacked up so all because of this so to properly take this off you need to take the teeth out, like bend them out, hammer it from the bottom and this pops up. But the fact that the other one I was able just to pull it out means that this was not secure. So unfortunately, this is what we're gonna have to use in the meantime until I decide to get the QD short shifter or the hybrid short shifter. good to go so we're just gonna go ahead and put this back on and 
test that out, make sure everything's secure. It doesn't even feel that much shorter, like that much of a difference. Yeah, the Type R shifter feels so good. This sucks, this is like the third time I end up doing this. Best bang for your buck shifter right here, I guess. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting everything back. We're gonna go around and drive for a bit too, just to make sure that everything is working. Okay, so the center spring and the rocker are working and it works magnificent. Okay, cool. Dude, I honestly feel like I'm a freaking professional on installing a short shifter in this damn car already. I've done it with Hector's, I've done it twice or three times with this car. Like, you know, and no, this is nothing that, ha this has nothing to do with Torque Solution, with the shifter that I went with. This is all like install error. This is this is all totally my fault. Uh, but like at the end of the day, like I said, you're pretty much taking out the entire assembly. You might as well go the extra mile and spend the extra money on the Acuity or Hybrid, but it doesn't mean that it's a bad choice. If you know what you're doing and are confident that you will not break the teeth, then by all means, go for it. I feel like, literally, that was the only thing. It's because I broke those damn teeth that were uh, that keep the shifter from coming out of it. Like, again, that was totally my fault. But it is what it is, you live and you learn. Why I didn't go with a cutie in the beginning or like hybrid racing? Because I wanted to try something else out. Everybody and their mom always goes for it. And I mean, for a reason, you know, they're one of the best in the game out there. Oh, just the way this is how Yeah, baby. So I've been chilling a lot on map too, by the way, so. And yes, a lot of you guys in my last video were like, bro, you, are you from Oxnard? Yes, I am. I am from Oxnard, California. So here in Southern California. Am I gonna get something else? I don't know. I'm probably gonna put the Torque Solution shifter for sale. I'll probably sell it for like 50 bucks. So if you guys are interested, just hit me up. If not, I'm just gonna keep it in the cabinet or something. I'm not gonna throw it away. Just, um, my two cents, if you're gonna get a short shifter, just get the adapter that goes on the bottom where that little blue clip goes, little blue cup, or just get the whole assembly. Don't get what I did and get this thing right here, the shifter, because you can get it from Torque Solution and you can also get it from Boomba Racing, I believe. But like I like I said, they're, they're good, but too much work for what it is. And I've had the short shifter adapters on my other cars and they worked perfectly fine. Because I bought an intercooler, so, the intercooler is at the house. It's it's waiting to be installed. I ended up getting with the 271 um, intercooler with everything. It came with everything, and I really wanted that one. I'll show you guys when I get home. That way you guys can check it out. But side skirt that I ended up buying, they were actually eBay ones. So I'm going to return those. And the reason why I'm not installing those is they are about this much longer. When you bought it in the description, it said may or may not fit. But it literally said it was for the coupe so i was like okay cool i'm gonna buy it so that was kind of a bummer right there and i could cut it but then it's i could cut it like four or five inches but then it's not gonna the finishing look is not gonna look as good as how it is you know like from the factory so it is what it is oh well it was either like the intercooler or i get the hfp kit and the short shifter and i'm gonna be honest i really wanted the intercooler more than anything else so also, is it considered full bolt-on with what I have? Or like, do I really need the turbo inlet piping to be considered full bolt-on? And I guess the turbo itself, cause I have the downpipe, front pipe, exhaust, intake. Uh, I now have the intercooler now. So is that technically full bolt-on or, you know what I mean? Or is it like almost full bolt-on? Like I know it sounds stupid, but like everybody says they're full bolt-on and they're still missing the turbo inlet piping. So because it's kind of pointless to get unless you got a big turbo, unless you just want the sound. See you guys in a bit so I can show you guys the intercooler. Ooh, look at that. Oh, I'm done. There you go. <laughs> I was like, wait, is this spelled backwards? But check it out. That's gonna be sick. Gotham, come here. Hey, do you approve? Say it. Oh, cool boy. 
Good boy, Mr. Gotcha. No, 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 come back, come back. No, no, wait, come back here. <laughs> you like your tail? You like your tail, Papush? Oh, he's such a good boy. Gotham approves of the inner cooler. But check it out, guys. 271 inner cooler. That's gonna be sick. I got all the other parts right over here as well. I mean, I'm not really gonna take all of this out, but I have the piping for like the charge pipes. Everything's in there. And I was able to get this pretty, pretty quick. This is gonna look really, really aggressive when it's on the car. I really wanted to go with a black one. And a lot of people go with black because it's more stealthy, but I wanted to go with black because the car is white and the stencing is in white. It's gonna look really good and really good, and really aggressive. So that's gonna look bitching. That's gonna be it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was random. It wasn't really like the end star everybody's waiting on, but the 271 intercooler is in. I am probably not gonna do it my next day off. I already know my next day off is gonna be Monday and I'm gonna be going to Six Flags with my brother for his birthday. And then Thursday, the following Thursday after that, I'm taking my engagement pictures. So I might not be able to do it till like the following week. So not this weekend, but the weekend after for that install. I'll see you guys in another one. You guys have a good day. Peace.